Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to push a Docker image into Pivotal Web Services. I'm going to assume that you already have an account on Pivotal Web Services, uh, but if you don't, you can head over to run.pivotal.io to sign up for one over here. So the example application I'm going to use for this demonstration is the training slash web app. And this is just a very, very basic application. It essentially starts up a web server and then prints out Hello World. Uh, and this application is available as a Docker image that's hosted publicly on a uh, Docker Hub. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is log into Cloud Foundry uh, using the CFCLI. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, how do I push that Docker image? And really, this is just as simple as running a CF push and providing the minus O flag. So the minus O flag tells the CFCLI that we want to push a Docker image. And by default, it's going to assume that your Docker image lives on Docker Hub. And this means that I don't have to provide the full URL to the image. I can just provide the path as it exists on Docker Hub. So in this case, it's going to be a training slash web app. On the other hand, if I did have a Docker image that was hosted somewhere, maybe in an internal repository, we could still push that as well. Um, but in this case, I just have to prepend the, uh, the registry's host and port to the beginning of this, this argument here. So something like my repo uh, colon 5000 slash. Um, but in this case, the training web app, it's available on Docker Hub, which means I can just provide something like this. And then I also have to provide a name. Uh, let's call this Teddy King Docker app. And then let's hit enter. So what this is going to do is going to pull down that image and it's going to start it as an, uh, as an application running inside Cloud Foundry. Um, so specifically, it's going to start up a container that's based on that Docker image. So the application has now started up and we can see that Cloud Foundry has assigned a, a route to the application, uh, which is teddyking-docker-app.cfapps.io. So let's head over to that now and just check that everything is working as expected. And there we go, hello world. So the really nice thing about this is now that our Docker image has been pushed as a Cloud Foundry application, it means that we can interact with the application as if it were any other Cloud Foundry app. Um, which means that we get all of the niceties provided by Cloud Foundry available to our Docker app. So for example, if we now wanted to scale scale our application up, we could just run the CF scale command. So let's say CF scale minus I3, which means I want to scale up to three instances rather than just one. And there we go, nice and easy. So for more information on, on Docker and Cloud Foundry, um, you can head over to the docs uh, where there's information on, on how to use private registries, uh, authentication, GCR, etc., etc. Thanks very much.